What is up guys, Dwazo Designs here with a quick After Effects tutorial. So this tutorial I'll be uh, showing how to make this cool outline effect here. Well pretty much you take a subject and you could outline it with trap code 3D stroke and trap code shine. It draws a lot of emphasis and looks really nice and really easy to make. So first thing you're doing is you take your footage and or your uh, audio. So First thing we're going to do is we're going to find a point in the footage we're going to, where we want him to stop and draw an emphasis to him. To do this, I'll just do the same uh, clip I had here. And this looks good. And then what you're going to do is you're going to select your footage, right click, time, enable time remapping. Now time, time remapping allows you to take the frames of the footage and speed them up or slow them down, making to how you want. So basically we're going to find the point we want here, that looks good, drop a keyframe, go one frame forward and drop another. Take the last keyframe, let's drag it out here, a few seconds. So he'll be frozen for these few seconds while we work on him. So first things first, we need to get the outline itself. To do that we'll grab the pen tool here, uh, G or just click up here, and zoom in. H to grab and move yourself around and just quickly outline them. Of course you're going to be a lot more detailed when you're actually doing this for a project or for a client, but this should be good for this tutorial. Just make a rough uh, outline of him. Oops, for his head. There you go. Now it works as mo the mask should where it only shows you the points you outlined. Which is, good for, which is good for most projects, but not for this effect that we want. So, but we do want the path. So to do this, go, go back to your footage, masks, mask one, or whatever mask you, you made it, and mask path. You take that, uh, control C or command C to copy it. And pretty much right now we have the path copied. Now we need get it into the 3D stroke. To do that, we're going to make a new layer, solid, uh, any color, doesn't really matter. And yeah, you have a black solid covering the footage. Now, to get the mask uh, onto the black solid, just draw any mask, it doesn't matter, just a line. Go into your solid, masks, mask one, path, and control V, command V to paste the path. Now this works with any mask uh, on any, on most projects, which is great if you want to duplicate something. You don't have to retrace it over and over again. But uh, you notice it's still black. So to fix that, we're gonna actually throw on uh, the 3D stroke. Now you can see that it outlines the subject. And don't forget to turn off the, uh, to delete the mask from the original footage. Now, basically here we have the outline itself. It's a bit, bit too thick, so let's drop this down. And let's change the color. So the animation itself uses mostly the start and end uh, values under 3D stroke, which allows you to uh, decide where the stroke actually starts and stops at any point. So let's go to the first uh, point we have here on the time remapping. And let's change the start value to 100. This means it'll be at the same point as the end and you won't be able to see the stroke itself. Let's get up, fit this here. Now, this is great. Keyframe, both of these. So you have these keyframes here, near the start of your, um, uh, where your footage uh, pauses. So go about halfway through here, and drop a, and take the start value, bring it down to zero, and key, and keyframes out automatically. Go a little bit before that, right here, or however you want, this looks nice, and then drop a keyframe for the end. So 100 here and 100 here. Then go towards the near the end of your um, 
of where your footage stops and set the end value to zero, making it making the uh, outline disappear. So basically what this does is it starts the outline, keeps going, keeps going, and then you see the end starts catching up to it, making it really quick. Now you could do this where with only the start, where if you don't keyframe it, um, it just outlines it all the way, and you can just fade it out or just snap it out. And then as it gets closer to the end, it disappears. Now what? This is like a solid seven second, five second uh, animation, which is, we really don't need that. So to fix that, highlight all your keyframes, uh, hold Alt, and grab your last keyframe, and drag it down to the length you want. So let's do probably a second here. That looks great. Okay, cool. So then go to your music. Uh, this isn't required, but if you do have any audio that, to go with it, uh, to sync up, it'll, it's great to learn. Um, so you can't really see, but the waveform, open up the waveform under the audio, waveform uh, under your audio layer, and uh, find like a drop. So you can see here that it gets goes kind of soft, and then boom. So you want that right at the start of the uh, the first moment you see the outline. So highlight all your keyframes again, and it's already synced up, but you get to highlight, drag, see, whoopsie, highlight, drag. So drag it right about there, and then that should be good. So this is great for like a delayed drop where, uh, for example, this song, you see there's one here, one drop here taken up by this effect, and another one here, which could be um, done by another effect, a bulge or some blur. But right now, just this effect only takes up a little bit, so let's drop this down because I don't want to kill your eardrums and render that real fast. Let's move this up again. Didn't really hit the mark. There you go. Render this out and then. Yeah, that looks great. So, uh, basically, the higher quality footage you have, this isn't the best quality. It's kind of pixely. Hot. Well, I mean, school camera, so what, what do you expect? But. The higher quality footage you have, and the more time you spend tracing out the object here, uh, the better quality your mask will be. So here, I just did it really quick. Uh, you can see kind of messed up here, down here, and then see like right here it looks great. Oh yeah, that reminds me, the uh, shine effect. Uh, go back to your black solid. Yeah, and then throw in a effects trap code shine. Uh, take the source point, drop it in the middle of your mask. Uh, turn the ray length to something that looks nice to you, right there. Boost the light if you want to make it look shiny. Um, and voila. Draws emphasis to your subject, and it's a quick. Nice effect. Let's render this out. Now, you could throw in some color correction, more effects, and it'll look great. Uh, so, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe for more tutorials, and uh, email my email down in the description if you want a free intro or edit. See you guys.